check out this free video and make sure you hit like and subscribe. All right, we got a lot to talk about on Dynamite here tonight, so let's uh, get into it. It was the Owen Hart Cup finale for the men and the women. It was a super freaking show. Yeah, it did open I mean, up. I mean, I mean, like, the angle at the end with um, Tony Storm and Mariah May, like, it, that angle was really good. I mean, I, I don't know. Some people aren't going to like all the blood on Tony Storm, but... It was a. It was that angle was really strong. It got over great in the building. Um, yeah, um, and then uh, you know, obviously Brian Danielson and Adam Page had a a great match. I thought Mariah May and Willow had a great match, and um, um, there was a you know, I mean, basically, I think everything on the show in its own way was was real good. Then we had a banger: Claudio, Kyle Fletcher, Pac, and Ishii. In a match with an international title shot on the line, and it was a quite great match. Uh, everybody, I mean, just spot after spot after spot. Everybody got a chance to shine, and then finally, they uh, pockets everyone with snap Germans off the ropes. He boots Fletcher. He goes up top, hits the black arrow, puts Fletcher in the brutalizer, gets a submission. So Pac is getting a shot at some point at the international title. He wants it at Wembley. He wants it at Wembley, but that doesn't mean he's going to get it. Yeah. And uh, he'll face the winner of the MJF Osprey match at some point. Mm -hmm. And he cut a promo, and he did say that uh, he was all in season. He would not be denied his Wembley moment. He would promise us that. Renee tried to interview Hangman. He totally blew her off. He banged on the Elite's door. They open up. They says, anything we can do for you? And he says, I'll do it. And he walks off. So now that Swerve is in blood and guts, he wants to be in blood and guts because he is obsessed. Mm -hmm. We had Mercedes coming out for her victory toast and thanked Nick and Matt right off the bat to make sure she was booed. And she had security around the ring. And she said, I am the past, present, and future. I'm the best there is, was, and ever will be. That one got that one got some boos. It sure did. She is so much better as a heel. It's not even funny. She said, oh, a lot of people are. I'll leave you with more than herniated discs and a stroke. I'll leave you for dead, bitch. And so Britt interrupts, and security, including Brady, tries to stop her. He gets super kicked right in the face, and she storms down to the ring. Mercedes had the best heel flee. She ran out of there with her belt and her... Britt, Britt got a real big reaction. Oh, yeah. This I is I, a I, great, I... simple angle. Yeah. I, th I think that they got a bigger reaction than Osprey and MJF. Well, yeah. I mean, it was... This feels like one of the biggest women's feuds they've ever had, as far as, like, star power. I mean, this feels like a real uh, big one. Well, I, Storm and Mariah, to me, feels... Well, after the main event angle, it's a that's a yeah, super big one. But, but, but this does feel real. This does feel real big. I mean, it does feel like... Like, um, Mercedes and, and Britt, absolutely feels like a match that should be at Wembley Stadium. Yes. I mean, it's, it's, it has that aura about it. Um, and, I mean, at the end of the day, it's really good that, that Britt Baker was gone for so long because the people really wanted her back. I don't think it would. Have, I don't think this match would have been... It still would have been big, but I don't think it would have been as big if she had been wrestling the whole time. Yeah, it's, it's like it always is in wrestling. When you're gone for a long time, you're going to come back and you're going to be as hot as you can be. That first... Like, right when you come back. And if they can bring you back into a big feud with a big star, I mean, it feels big. But guess what? You know what they always brainwash people into? Don't ever don't ever get hurt. And if you're hurt, don't do it. Because if, you, if you're gone off TV, people will forget about you immediately and someone will take your and spot. And you know what? All of the wrestlers it's, believe that. I mean, you, you've heard it. How many times? I, I can't tell you how many times I've heard, oh, my God, I, they're not going to remember me. And they talk about it in interviews, you know, I was afraid they weren't going to remember me. And it's like, do you watch wrestling? Like, I know, it, it always happens. But, always. But, but but the reason they do that is it's part, partially their own paranoia. But, I mean, as far as the WWE, and I know this is, I mean, I know from people who were running WWE, that's exactly what they would tell them. Because it was a way to make sure that, like, you come back quicker from your injury. You know, you or or if you're mildly injured, you gut your way through it because they, you know, don't want people taking time off. And it's like, well, you know, if you take time off and you're in a feud, it's like someone's going to get your spot. So uh, unless you're really hurt bad, you know, um, just remember that. 
you know, and the fans, you know, they're going to forget you. And it's like, it's such bullshit. The only time the fans will forget you is when they bring you, if you, if they bring you back in a terrible way, um, with no build, you just kind of show up in a nothing thing and you do nothing. And then, yeah, it can, it can, it can work against you. So the main event was Mariah May, Willow Nightingale, Women's Owen Hart Cup Final, and this was a very good match, and it was a great finish because Stokely and Statlander got involved for a, a near fall that wasn't the finish, so that got a big pop. And then uh, there's a comeback by Willow, and Mariah ends up countering the Death Valley driver into a victory roll, mm. the same finish that Owen Hart pinned Bret Hart with at WrestleMania 10. Mm -hmm. Got the pin and the place went crazy. And and and, and Mariah also uh, dressed, you know, like an Owen Hart pattern. Yeah. So she wins, and afterwards, Tony and Mariah are skipping up the ramp together, and Tony's overjoyed, even though she's going to be facing Mariah. But then she is sad because Mariah grabs the belt and waffles her with it, and uh, Tony gigs, and then Mariah. She was bleeding all over the place. Mariah waffles Luther, and he actually takes a flip bump off the ramp through the table, and so he's dead. And so uh, Mariah starts clobbering her over and over with the shoe. Aubrey tries to break it up. She gets shoved down, and then Mariah kisses her, and she rubs her face all over the blood. There's blood all over Mariah's face. Fans chanted, you sick fuck. And that's how the show went off the air. It was a great angle. It was a great. It was so a, it, it we was got two great. hot women's matches coming up at Wembley. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, it's probably going to be a hell of a lineup. Yeah. The um, we'll see. We'll see if the if tickets if, if tickets start moving. Um, now we're at that point where, you know, we have a remnant remnants of the card. We got the main event. I mean, Swerve and Danielson's the main event. Um, and uh, we'll probably start filling in other matches um, as the weeks go on now because no more pay per views. They're gonna, you know. I think that um, the next two weeks TV will be big, and then uh, I'm sure that he's gonna he's gonna load everything up at least until the contract's signed. <laughs> I don't think, you know. I mean, it's this is like, uh, you know, this is contract year, and it wasn't the greatest, but right now, no, it's 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 amazing because like WWE was such a pile of shit for years just declined year over year collapsing and then all of a sudden it's contract year and magically they they just their way up and they sign this great deal and then here we are with uh aw i mean it's their contract year and it's been a rough one it's just been a rough one it's been tough it's been tough they lost a lot of interest because you know and i think most of it's because wwe got hot you know, and took the eighteen to thirty fours. I'm sure that's that's the main reason, actually. So that's the that's the main reason. I will say, like one thing is, as far as like, there's a lot of criticisms of AEW, and and many valid, but the idea that like the TV isn't good, especially the last couple of weeks, like the TV the last couple of weeks has been at least at least the, I would say the last four weeks has been vastly improved. I have felt it's tremendous. No, the last two weeks of TV are two of the best TV shows. That you'll see. I mean, they were just like for two hours. I mean, so you, you you had great wrestling, you had great angles, you had great promos. Although the best promos are still on the internet for whatever reason, but um, and you have focus on a lot of different stuff. I mean, they're building TV. They're they're building the TV matches. It's it's um, you know, they're hitting on they're they're you know doing. You know what? One thing that is I, I do find really interesting though is that with NXT, NXT has turned it around. By introducing new characters to the show, um, and it, you know, like they'll they'll bring in guys from TNA. Can you imagine if AEW was bringing in these guys like Zach Wentz? I mean, the people are getting mad enough about oh, we don't want any ROH guys on, and oh, this and that. If if they were bringing in Zach Wentz and and Joe Hendry, God, I like Joe Hendry and everything, but um, Jordan Grace and all this. In AEW, those fans would just be crapping on it so bad. We don't want to see these guys, you know. And in NXT, the fans there, they embrace everyone except for Rich Holland for whatever reason. But everyone else that comes in from Baron Corbin, anyone, right? Anyone from another company, they just embrace it. They're so happy that they're gracing that, that uh, you know, piece, the performance center. You know, with that, with that, and AW, um, you know, you bring in new guys, and and it's it's tough. It's really tough.
Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.